Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. In this video, we're going to render a 3DS Max project with the V-Ray renderer. The project will be rendered on the 6RTX 3090 server of iRender. The great news for this server type is the CPU upgrade to AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3955WX. Now, let's see how fast it is. We first upload data to GPU Hub Sync to transfer data to the remote server. All files we upload will be in the Z drive of the remote server. Now we access the iRender console. Here we create a server image with 6 RTX 3090 GPUs. Notice that we need to set up the server image for the first time only, as it will be saved and reusable. We then boot the server image, it may take 5 to 10 minutes. Once the image is booted successfully, download the remote desktop connection file by clicking the connect button. Enter the credentials to connect to the remote server. We're on the remote server. Please keep in mind that X or Z drive is just a network drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives like C drive or desktop to prevent the project from being crashed. So, copy data to desktop before opening it. Now, we need to set up 3DS Max 2020. Next, copy the project from Z Drive to Desktop. Open the project. We already set up the first 3DS Max project to render with V-Ray Renderer, using CPU, AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3955WX. OK, now click to render. The rendering process is complete. We check the result here. Remember to set the output path should be in the desktop as well, to avoid getting corrupted. Move on to the GPU rendering. However, we still need the CPU to load the scene file. This process seems very fast, due to the CPU, AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro. In this case, we're going to render the 3DS Max project with V-Ray Renderer on multiple graphics cards, 6 RTX 3090s. We check the output file. Then save it at desktop. When everything is done, move the results to Z Drive to sync with GPU Hub Sync. We then shut down the remote server in the iRender console. The final step is just to open the GPU Hub Sync and download the results to the personal computer. To sum up, we rendered the 3DS Max project with V-Ray Renderer on both CPU and GPU rendering. The first one was rendered on CPU AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3955WX. The image size is 4000 and 2200 pixels, noise limit is 0.01. The render time is 20 minutes and 19 seconds. In the meanwhile, the second one was rendered on 6 RTX 3090s. With the same image size, the noise limit is much higher, 1000, but the render time is only 5 minutes and 13 seconds. That is the end of the video today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I render. Happy rendering, happy training.